Thanks for joining us at cityharvest.co today. Two weeks ago, I was driving in my car, and the, out of the blue, the Lord just spoke a word to me. He said, it's time for the axe head to float. And at first, I thought, where did that come from? And when I got home that night, I looked it up in Scripture and found a place in 2 Kings chapter 6, where it's a story of some young prophets in Elisha, and they're getting ready to move locations because they'd outgrown where they were, and they chose to move near the Jordan River. And as they moved to, over to the Jordan River, all of them began the construction process. And one young prophet had borrowed an axe. And while he was in the process of cutting timber, the axe head came off his handle and went into the Jordan River. Well, of course, he freaked out because it was a borrowed axe. I mean, you and I probably wouldn't have thought anything to it. But obviously, back then, the axe cost a lot of money, plus it was borrowed. If you've ever borrowed anything before, you're probably like me. It's, it's always broken or it's lost. So he was he was freaking out. And so Elisha saw what was going on, and he told him that uh, it had gone into the river. So Elijah acted like it didn't really matter. And so what he did, he, uh, a simple thing, he, he grabbed a stick and he threw it into the river where the axe head had gone in. And immediately the axe head floated. And the young prophet retrieved the axe head. Now, to you and I, we, like, we would say, what's the significance of this story? Obviously, Jesus cares about the smallest things that go on in our lives. That's the obvious thing. Secondly, it probably built the young prophet's faith in the fact that God cared about that, uh, something seemingly small that God cared so much about it that he was able to retrieve that. But the Lord spoke to me something more. He said, Mike, it's not just in the things that are obvious. He said, it's a season that those things that seem impossible are now going to become possible. Because you and I both know this, it's impossible for an axe head to float. Whether it was made of iron back then or whether it was a rock, it was, it was heavy. And axe heads don't float, friends, we know that. But yet in this situation it did. And the Lord said, it's time, it's a season in our lives where the things you've been believing for, the things that you thought were never going to come true, it's a season that those possibilities will come true if you only trust and believe in the Lord. So I'm going to encourage you in this season, no matter what everybody else says about 2012, see 2012 as your season for the impossible things you've been believing for to come true in your life.